All right, and we're back. Uh, so, yeah, I just talked about how I want Havana. You you have some very uh, exposed parts there, so you really need to make sure that you're playing those loud. Uh, I know you're practicing at home, uh, but you need to make sure that you make time for Havana because uh, you have some really exposed parts and they need to come out. Uh, so, in Great Movie Adventures, it's going okay. Just make sure that you're following the dynamics and the style changes and all that good stuff. Song 42, I'm not worried about. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at something at your composition. Let me pull it out real quick. So the beginning's going pretty good. You're, I'm, I'm actually hearing you, which is good. Uh, we want to make sure that we're not mixing up any of the rhythms because uh, we are having the seventh grade clarinets play with us. And if there are any seventh grade clarinet players listening to this, you can. This also applies to you. Make sure that uh, whenever you have the D, uh, that is a dotted quarter note D, and measure four, that you're holding that out and nothing else. Because uh, I've heard some weird stuff in rehearsal where you were holding out on a different note, and uh, I just want to make sure that I get that cleared up. So I'll play the beginning for you just so I can show you exactly what I want. And it says mezzo piano, mezzo piano. Don't play mezzo piano, play forte. You need to be loud there. Keep an eye on that. Make sure that you're doing uh, those dotted chord notes where they're supposed to happen. Uh, then next we have those offbeats. Dot, 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 dot. The biggest challenge here is going to be your B flat to C. B flat to C. So like I said earlier, uh, you can definitely hold down your uh, right hand for C so that you're just flipping back and forth between here and here. All I'm doing is moving my left hand. So yeah, that's something that we need to make sure that we practice. Um, that top C, make sure that is in tune. Um, here, I'm sure there are, so, if you want to do some research and try to find maybe some alternate fingerings that could uh, help make that a little bit more in tune, that would definitely help. So, uh, yeah. And then, let's see. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> 